Well, it is very interesting the way the political dynamics are emerging ahead of the 2024 elections, the recent and the latest development, of course, being the parting of ways uh, by the AIA DMK from the BJP in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is an important state, a very, very substantial number of seats, 40 seats from Tamil Nadu in the Lok Sabha. And uh, there, therefore, this is a state where stakes are high for the BJP as well. It has lost its ally AIA DMK in the state. What does it say? Now, I'm going to go uh, state by state when it comes to the southern uh, states from uh, Tamil Nadu to Karnataka to Kerala to Telangana. Uh, to uh, Andhra Pradesh, starting with this development, why this is important and what are its implications? Of course, before this, from the state of Tamil Nadu, you had the Sanatan Dharma Rao, where for the first time you had a party like DMK and two of its tallest leaders, uh, Uday Nidhi Stalin and uh, the Raja, make a remark, make statements, uh, you know, in fact, they, not, not one, but several statements, questioning the Sanatan Dharma, calling it a poisonous snake, even going to the extent of saying that it's the root cause of all evils of divisiveness in this country, uh, saying that it espouses untouchability and casteism. Now, before this, we never had a political party uh, of any consequence standing up to the core ideology of the BJP in this manner. So that has in fact set the tone that the Dravidian parties stand opposed to the ruling BJP and the north-south divide therefore from there on uh, is made very very evident. Now uh, before the Sanatan Dharma Rao of course you had the Karnataka state election results a very decisive mandate in favor of the Congress many would say it was as much a mandate against the BJP. The only two other states left of course now is Telangana where again the BJP has very minimum uh, presence it has no representation in the state assemblies uh, and uh, also of course the only three parties that have uh, that are of any consequence in Telangana the BRS the Congress and the AIMIM so that's again a state that is going to polls now with the BJP not having very high hopes in Telangana as well if you look at Kerala, of course, uh, it's a left oriented party for many years now. This is a state uh, which is uh, hugely opposed to the idea of delimitation and rightly so since they have been able to implement the population control policies in a very robust manner. In fact, delimitation that will redraw the boundaries of constituencies will give an extra edge to uh, the BJP since the number of seats in the northern states will increase. That issue is likely to bring the southern parties together even more. In fact, it might become a unifying force uh, for uh, the southern parties and might accentuate the north-south divide even more uh, if the BJP is to push this issue because clearly uh, it will not be palatable to any of the southern parties to have a situation where their seats in the Lok Sabha remain the same whereas in states like Uttar Pradesh it goes up from 80 to 120 in Bihar it goes up from 42 to close to 80 so that kind of a scenario will be completely unacceptable to literally all the southern states. In Andhra Pradesh, of course, BJP has an ally in the form of uh, YSRCP, uh, but uh, there again, we don't know if the loyalties are fully tested. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an unflinching loyalty or if there are issues there as well. What I'm trying to say is BJP has lost two crucial allies in the South. First, it was the TDP in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, and then now AIA DMK in Tamil Nadu. These two are important states that we are talking about and so is Karnataka with a substantial number of seats in Lok Sabha. It remains to be seen how much of all this becomes consequential in the 2024 elections but one thing is for sure that the wedge between the North and the South is accentuated now more than ever before.